What's up guys, it's Sunox 796 here with another review. Today we're reviewing the complete Beware the Batman show because they ended the show not long ago. Only one season. Seems it's going like this for all these CGI shows by DC. First Green Lantern, then this. And Young Justice, but that wasn't CGI. That could have worked CGI maybe, I don't know. But <clears throat> the show is... Based upon Batman, of course it would be. The Batman's in the title. Oh, no, it's based upon, like, the Joker. Hmm. Beware the Joker. Oh, no, it's called Beware the Batman. So, jo it's all about Joker, actually. Yeah, it's all about Joker. The Joker's gonna run away from Batman. Nope, jo Joker's not even in the show. Sorry. Fans of Batman and Joker and that, no. Nah. It follows... It has some known villains like Killer Croc, Rachel Ghoul, Two Face. Don't get to see Two Face, but anyway, Deathstroke. They're really just all the characters you'd actually know of. Then there's like villains you probably wouldn't have known of. Like some have just been added into the DC comics, like Professor Pig and Toad. And I don't know about Magpie. Um, then there's like Humphrey Dumphrey. Um, and some other characters, but Beware the Batman wasn't that bad of a show. I wouldn't mind second season, especially ending it with a big, like, acting like they're going to make season two. Just get on to it. It's like, oh, make a Superman show, only one season. Oh, we'll, we'll also make a Flash show, maybe a Wonder Woman while we're at it. Uh, maybe a Green Arrow. An Aquaman. Mm. Then after that, oh, just like one season of that. And all, all those endings just all go together. That'd actually be pretty good. to be like the DC Universe, but with TV shows. But they did that already, kind of. With Batman the Animated Series. And Superman the Animated Series. And Batman Beyond. And Justice League and Static Shock. Justice League Unlimited. But, yeah. This show, Alfred's like in his Batman, um, another world one or something, I can't remember, but he, he's actually like a, ma he's like a mafia looking guy, he kind of does, he dual wields pistols and he uses guns, he uses swords, then Batman's sidekick, instead of Robin, it's Kintana, who's a chick, a Chinese chick, who... It goes into the story a little bit more. Too much story in this. It's hard to explain. You guys would recommend to see it. Not the best Batman show. I more reckon the Batman. The Batman's my favourite Batman show. But some of you might not like it. This show's not bad. This is maybe my third favourite Batman show. And yeah. So. But where the Batman? I review it to be... Six and a half out of ten. Yes, six and a half. Not the best. And not the worst. The worst I found is Batman the Brave and the Bold. I used to love that show at the beginning because it wasn't that bad. And then they came along, oh, we'll go more kid friendly. Then it goes all kid friendly, and I'm like, alright, I'm turning this TV off and. I'm just going to go hang myself in the backyard. Mm, that's fine. But no, I didn't do that. That's what I felt like doing. Luckily, I had a PlayStation 2 at the time. And I went to play that. Hmm. Went to play, like, Sonic Heroes or something. I can't remember. But, yeah. Well, everyone probably thinks that show is the worst. But then people came along with this and then... Oh, this is going to be worse. Oh, there's no Joker. Oh, this is worst movie, TV show ever. At least Brave and the Bold had Joker. How shocking was that? It's like Mr. Freeze, Freeze jokes. Oh, it's going to be chilling, Batman. Freeze, Batman. It's going to be a cold day, Batman. It's just that. So, yeah, I'll give it 6.5 out of 10. Not the worst, 
not the best, but in between. So, you've been doomed. See you guys later. Bye.